Hey guys, Scott Wagner here. Hey, instead of doing a newsletter uh, typed out and everything, which statistically a lot of people don't read, I uh, figured I'd do a, an email with a video link um, and actually talk to you so that I, I could just say thank you um, for your support and for your prayers for this summer um, and for all that you do for FCA Hockey. Um, if you're receiving this, you are part of our home team. And therefore, uh, you are very important to this ministry. And I just want to let you know some of the results of this summer. I know it's not all about numbers, but uh, numbers are pretty cool when they're when they're good, anyways. <laughs> so overall, this summer we had 12 different events, whether camps, clinics, uh, tournaments, and things like that. Um, 12 different events. We had 554 athletes come through those camps, which is awesome. We had 76 coaches either participate or be part of a camp. Um, and just to show you personally what 12 different events uh, over the summer uh, really entail individually for one person. I personally flew over 21,000 miles. 21,426 miles I flew. I drove over 4,909 miles, um, totaling for total tra transportation for Scott Wagner this summer, 26,335 miles. That's a long way. That's a lot of traveling, um, all for the gospel. Now, that's just me. That doesn't include all the other staff, the interns, uh, and the people going to make these camps work, all for the gospel. We, we flew hundreds of thousands of miles for the gospel. We, we drove thousands of miles for the gospel to get the gospel out to kids who need to hear it and coaches who need to hear it. Had a powerful summer, powerful summer. All in all, of those 554 uh, kids, we saw 57 new believers. First time commitments to Jesus Christ. Bam. 57. We had 118 kids recommit to make Jesus the Lord of their lives, uh, repenting of sin and asking for God to cleanse them. We handed out almost 700 Bibles, 670 Bibles were handed out by FCA Hockey just this summer. That doesn't include the rest of the year. Uh, that doesn't even include like our coaches conference and things like that, um, where we hand out a lot of Bibles. Your prayers, your financial support are what have made this possible. I just can't thank you enough for what you do for supporting this ministry. Your money is, is going to practical things that is, is moving the kingdom of God. It's increasing the kingdom of God. It's showing results. It's reaping a, a harvest. It's, it's so cool. Um, and you're part of it. Let me just show you just a practical thing that, that FCA Hockey has had a, a hand in. Okay, You may or may not be able to see this, but those guys, that's RIT and Mercyhurst. Okay? And they did for the 2015 Atlantic Hockey Conference title. This is the big one. Okay, These two teams went at it. Mercyhurst got their butt kicked 5-1. It was a big one. Ooh, they took it. But at the end of the game, they had agreed and they stuck to it. They, they all met those who know the Lord got together and they prayed it out right there and gave glory to God on both sides of that. That is powerful. And, and it's not like, you know, Scott Wagner or somebody from FCA Hockey made this happen. But one of those kids in there, one of those young men, they're college students, he, he actually was one of our interns all summer. He traveled with us all over the country telling kids about how God humbled him in hockey and how his humility beat pride how he accepted God's humbling of himself and chose to do the right thing and to be a better person and to seek after God in that situation. Powerful, powerful. Uh, I mean, that kid in Hagerstown shared the gospel with power and kids were, man, kids were crying. They were standing up receiving Jesus. I mean, they were beating each other out of the way to get, not literally, but I mean, it was just so powerful. Good stuff. You have a hand in that. Thank you so much for making it happen.
All right, please be praying for. I am working on, I just finished, uh, I should have had this out earlier. I just finished uh, summing up the camps and there's still a little bit to do, but budgets and finances, all the stuff to go with the summer finally gets wrapped up, put to the side, big weight off of Scott's shoulders. Uh, all right, well, now I got to start it all over again. We got to get the, the calendar for 2016 pounded out and, and finalized here in the next month or else uh, a lot of it won't happen. And we're having some issues with ice and lodging. So if you could pray for that, I would really appreciate that. Specifically, Alexandria, Minnesota's ice and uh, uh, lodging would be awesome. Um, we are doing a discipleship call once a week. Any of these kids from any year can get on this call and have a, a, one of our interns or an athlete who knows Jesus and would love to share and pour into other kids, they can get on this call and be discipled by one of these guys. And I, I manage that. Um, so once a week, I've got these guys doing this uh, call and kids calling into that. So please pray for that, that their kids would continue to call and continue to ask the tough questions and it, it would have a powerful impact. Local discipleship. Um, I just ask you to pray. I, I meet with a group locally um, once a week. Um, and I, I actually have a lot of the kids that I, I took up to Hagerstown camp, got saved, and we, we're we discipling them. So it's a, it's a big process, but that's my local huddle group. Please be praying for them and for that whole thing because it's growing and it's cool because those kids are discipling other kids and, you know, it's getting bigger and it's growing, reproducing itself, which is just what it's all about. Yeah. All right. Um, also, local um, in the way of all my, I, I've got to go through now and all those kids who made decisions, there's 230 some odd kids. I have to hook them up with local FCA people so that they can be discipled locally and have somebody on the ground, boots on the ground, who can make a difference in that kid's life, that young man's life, and be there to get them involved in huddle groups and get them involved in a local Bible-believing church. So that's what I got to do, which is so important if you ask me, and that's a lot. It's it's a lot to do. Okay, local ministry, I need to start an adult huddle or pick up an adult pickup. I'm working on that, so please pray for that. I also am working locally with other schools, other huddles. So if you could pray for Harnett County, getting um, schools uh, to get huddles in those schools. Uh, that would be awesome. Also fundraising, uh, that's always, I, I so appreciate you guys are my core. You're the core of our fundraising, but fundraising is something we always have to do. Um, I will ask you, would you please pray about maybe increasing what you're doing if, if you feel like God's leading you that way? We definitely could use it and we definitely would appreciate it. And it would go to good stuff, getting the gospel out. Um, also, if you would... Uh, Pray for, I'm putting together a leadership board, um, people who can uh, really understand the ministry and can come along and, and really guide and help and keep me on task and make sure that uh, help with fundraising, help with all those things. So the ministry, it's getting bigger than, than Scott Wagner can do on my own. I, there's too much to do. Please pray for that too, because I, I could forget that I even have a family. Very easily drown myself in all the things that have to be done and the hundreds and hundreds of emails and this and the people all over the country calling and things. So please just keep praying for that. I appreciate all you're doing. I appreciate you. Um, I, I can't thank you enough. Please keep us in your prayers. And uh, if you have any questions, email me, please, or call me. And I'd love to talk to you and share with you. But I appreciate you guys. May God richly bless you. Um, thank you.